Hey, hey, hey. I hope you guys enjoy these, what I'm calling podcast shorts for my burnout to all out community. This is just a little peek behind the curtain of the coaching that goes on inside of my programs. We're bringing to you some of the best nuggets and coaching I'm giving within hot seats of all of our different programs, whether it's our LinkedIn Method Academy our mini mastermind business basics, all the way up to our higher level mastermind. If you're hearing some of these questions and you're like, man, I wish I could get my burning question answered by Melissa. Hey, guess what? You could be featured on my podcast. If you've got a question that you want answered and you submit it to my team and we pick it, we will bring you here to the podcast for our podcast shorts and uh, do a hot seat with you. Where can you submit your questions? Send them to teamburnouttoallout.co. We'll make sure we drop that in the show notes for our podcast shorts. And I hope that you guys find as much value in these shorts as our clients do inside the program. Need some effective tactical advice that actually helps you get results and makes a real difference in your life and business? You've come to the right place. If you're finding yourself here today, it means you're getting ready to gain serious traction in your business, rapidly multiply your income and impact, and you're ready to make it happen while living all out. Guys, I'm Melissa Henault, your trustworthy corporate dropout turned six-figure business burnout turned happy and healthy CEO of a multi-million dollar online business, and you're listening to the Burnout to All Out podcast. On this show, we're serving up innovative growth strategies, simple implementation methods to put them into practice, and action-stimulating inspiration tailored specifically for the modern entrepreneur. Let's dive in. All right, let's go to Kristen. Hi, Melissa. I'm going to be a little bit of a broken record because I also have questions around my avatar. I'm a licensed professional counselor, and my specialties are working with trauma and addiction, specifically alcohol abuse and addiction. And so going through the modules and focusing on my ideal client in my head was going to be the person struggling with trauma or addiction. But I'm also a supervisor, a consultant, and a coach for therapists. And so I wrote my profile, I signed up for my audit. And then this morning, I started second guessing (laughs) my ideal client and thinking through like most of my networking is going to be with other professionals as far as like other therapists and getting referrals and adjacent people like chiropractors and doctors and things like that. And so You know what really helped me go from making $1,200 per launch in 2020 to making over $800,000 per launch in 2023? Guys, I'll give you a hint. It wasn't a secret formula. It wasn't a magical hack or strategy. And it definitely wasn't a grind till you die mentality. You guys, it was getting in the right room in front of the right people. And that right circle of influence raises the bar helping us set new higher expectations for ourselves and elevate our standards for the life we live in the business we operate. Because the truth is that we don't know what we're truly capable of until we get into the room with the people who are going bigger than us, scaling higher and showing us what is possible. When you join us in Austin at Burnout to All Out Live this October, you will be stepping into the room. This two to three day experience, depending on if you go VIP, is the most result oriented event for business owners and entrepreneurs. It's unlike any other event you've attended. If you're looking for dynamic growth opportunities, cutting edge ideas, a supportive community, and energizing inspiration to help you elevate your business and upgrade your life, you'll find it at Burnout to All Out Live. But I have to warn you, last year, the seats sold out weeks in advance. As a matter of fact, our gold VIP tickets, and I'm recording this ad in January, are totally sold out already. They've been snatched up. We do have some silver VIP tickets for that extra third day, and there's a good chance we're going to totally sell out this event again. 
So if you want in, I encourage you to grab your ticket now before the prices go up and the silver VIP tickets are completely gone. Check out the show notes from this podcast episode for the link to grab your ticket to secure your spot at Burnout to All Out Live 2024, where we will be elevating you. Or if you have a web browser handy, open up a new tab and go to www.burnouttoallout.co forward slash live dash event. Can't wait to see you there. I think I'm looking for some <laughs> confirmation, like I'm writing the right thing. I think my thought process was speaking to a trauma sufferer or somebody who's caught up in addiction and building a lot of my content around my expertise in those areas will actually help me with other professionals as well. But I got thinking through, this is the first time I'm on LinkedIn. Am I speaking to the void here? (laughs) What's going on? So any thoughts would be helpful. Yeah, so good. And I think the undercurrent of this is that if you want to be working one-on-one with individuals and you want to be networking with other therapists as a gateway, you just need to speak to both of them. Just like we were just discussing. I think that they're in different swim lanes, but they're under the same bucket of trauma and addiction. And that's where your authority falls. And then you can work individually or be networking with key decision gatekeepers to get just all different types of networking. And so what you need to keep in mind is who are those individual avatars, the individual versus the gatekeeper or the thought leaders in the space or the therapist, and just make sure your content is speaking to each of them. And the other thing that's really, really important, and I think I hit on this a minute ago, is it's not going to be enough to just post the content. You have to be strategically growing those actual networks. I said this on the first call. I want to say it again. One of the one of the things that makes me the saddest is to see a client in like month four say, I've been posting all this content. I've spent all this time in the academy and I'm getting crickets in my feed. And I say, tell me about your network growth. And they look at me with deer in headlights and they're like, well, I've grown some. And I say, well, how many people have you added to your network? And they're like, mm, like a hundred. Well, 2% of your audience sees your content on any given day. So if you only grow your network by a hundred while we're in the program together, don't expect a lot of results. I'm just being super clear where you're going to get into flow state where there's a lot of activity in your feed is when you have purposefully and consistently grown your network, a fresh network of at least 500 of your ideal audience. Okay. If you have multiple audiences, you need to grow 500 of each. So 500 of the individual, 500 of the corporation. And this is not that hard if you do it daily, okay? Once you get to the network growth strategy modules, don't do it now. Do it after you get through to the network growth strategy modules because we want to make sure your profile looks great first. But if you have a date with LinkedIn every day for literally five minutes, five minutes, and you spend, if you've got two different networks, then you spend two and a half minutes growing it with one audience and two and a half minutes growing it with the other. It will take you light years further in this program by adding that audience in. Because what happens, I want you guys to envision, once you bring in about 500 people of your ideal network who appreciate the content you put out, they do what? They engage with it. What happens when your content starts to get engagement? It stays at the top of the feed. What happens when it stays at the top of the feed? More people see it. What happens when more people see it? More people engage with it. We call this the LinkedIn flow state. Some of you are going to get there in a month and some of you are going to get there in three months. It's all a matter of your conscious effort and growing that network that appreciates what you're putting out. But I'm here to tell you, once you hit it, it's magical. It's magical. And the DMs are blowing up and you can't keep up. You'll know when you hit it. I promise. You'll know when you hit it. So all of that to say that, yes, you should grow your network with both and you should have two individual content pillars speaking to them. And I think that as long as you have the words trauma and addiction in your headline and or the results that someone can expect from experiencing this, it shouldn't matter whether you're working one-to-one or if you're networking for contracts for corporations. It's the subject matter expertise that's important. Does that make sense? Yes, it does. Thank you. Awesome, awesome. 
Thanks guys so much for listening in on today's podcast episode. And I can't wait for you to see my upcoming guest in the next episode. You are going to love this keynote speaker. Hey, here's the deal. If you liked this, please subscribe and leave a review. And you want the latest online business growth strategies and exclusive LinkedIn pro tips sent straight to your phone? Text the word UPDATE to 704-318-2285. That is text the word UPDATE to 704-318-2285. Can't wait to see you guys. Come find me over on Instagram, LinkedIn, Facebook, wherever you like to hang. I cannot wait to hear how you are enjoying and applying what you're learning. You guys reach out to me over on social because I love hearing what's resonating with you. When you reach out to me and you send me those personal DMs, they really do impact the content I continue to bring forward to you. So again, come find me, Melissa underscore Hinault over on Instagram, Melissa Hinault over on LinkedIn and Facebook. Can't wait to see you guys over there.